Hello, my name is Andrew Caffrey. I'm a Google Certified Innovator and Trainer from Litchfield in the United Kingdom. In this video, we're going to explore how can my students complete their work in Google Earth. And this relates to assessment and hybrid learning in Google Classroom. Often, when students are completing work, we use tools such as Google Docs, Google Sheets and Google Slides. Today, we're going to look at how to use projects in Google Earth so that students complete their work on Google Earth and hand their work in via Google Classroom. OK, let's get started. OK, so here I'm inside Google Classroom and I'm on the Classwork page and I can go to Create an Assignment. And Google Earth project files behave in exactly the same way as Doc Sheets and Slide do inside Google Classroom. So I can add a Google Earth file from my Google Drive and go to my Drive. I can pick up my Google Earth file and insert it in. And just like uh, any other Google Drive file, I've got some options at this point. I can have this so that it's just a piece of information for the students to look at inside Google Earth. I could have it so that they can edit the file themselves. And then if I want to, I can use that make a copy for each file button that's so powerful in Google Classroom so that I can create a template for my students to work on inside Google Earth so that they can complete their work on top of um, the Google Earth Globe. So let's go over to Earth and see what that looks like. OK, so here I'm inside Google Earth. And Projects is a particular feature that lives inside Google Earth on the left-hand menu, where we see the Projects icon. And we're going to start by creating a blank project for my class to use. So we're going to create a template for them to use to put their own work into. That I could distribute via Google Classroom. So I'm going to New Project. And I'm going to create this project in Google Drive, because Google Drive obviously can link work into Google Classroom really easily. For now, I'll just call my project class project. Now, um, just like many of the Google Feet tools, when I'm using projects in Google Earth, everything's auto-saving. I'm now going to add a new feature in. So I'm going to find a particular place. And for this one, I'm going to look for Venice. Uh, I'm going to search for Venice on Google Earth. And when I found Venice, I've got the option here to add Venice straight into my project. So I can go there and add Venice to my project. Venice has now been added into my project. When I press the Save button, it brings both the location in, so it puts an icon on Venice, and also this default information from Google I can edit uh, myself. If I want to, I can edit the icon. I can change the icon that shows. I can change the color of the icon. And I can also replace that default information with my own information. So I could ask my students here um, some questions that I want them to research and find answers to. And I can put the questions into the text box here. Or if my students have been working in other tools, maybe they've been working in Google Slides, they could download that as an image and upload it here. Uh, and you can also, through the three dots menu here, switch to HTML and embed any content that's available um, as a HTML embed into Google Earth. So I could bring content from third party tools to start to build together this template or this resource for my students to use. Now let's look at a project I created earlier for use with a class. And this project um, looks at a river from the start to where it runs into the sea. Once you've got a project and you've built a project, you can press the Present button. Much like we present in Google Slides, this allows me to see each of those locations in detail on that project. And so it brings up any information I've saved. Uh, it brings up any content. Uh, I can zoom right into locations to see what a particular place is like. And I can also embed third party content. So I've included a video here for my students to watch. And finally, back in Google Classroom, just to remind you that as um, the Google Earth projects are saved into Google Drive, it also means if students choose this as a file format to work in, when they're assigned a piece of work, they can come into Google Classroom and then from the uh, button at the top here, um, link into that file and submit that file in through Google Classroom. So if they've got a, a project that they've completed uh, in Google Earth, they can upload that there and then hand that in uh, as their piece of work. Um, to be marked by the teacher. So today we've seen how we can use projects in Google Earth, both to provide information to students, to provide a framework for students to complete their work on, and also as a tool students can use themselves to hand work back in on Google Classroom. Don't forget to check out all the other amazing videos in the Google Classroom video series. Thanks for watching. See you soon.